This video is brought to you by Broadcast Brazil. Webcast, broadcast and mobile. Hey there, and welcome back to a new video of Broadcast Brazil. Today, we're going to take a look at a new app for controlling Final Cut Pro X called ProCut X. On broadcastbrazil.com, you can find the article that accompanies this video. First thing is the scroll wheel, letting us scroll frame by frame. The buttons let us walk through the timeline, frame by frame, clip by clip, and of course, play it and pause it. That little square button, it selects the clip that you are hoovering. The tool selection, select, trim, position, range selection, hand and zoom. They just select the tool you need, so you still need to get your mouse going. Blade tools already really do the job, as you can see. Actions, undo, redo, enter and delete, they speak for themselves, as well as the in and out buttons. Very handy are the insert and append to storyline options. Here on top you see some white buttons. The top three are really helpful. The top right buttons show us things like import footage and render options. Let's play a small part of the video and check the volume and zoom options. Autocorrect, we can turn on and off the color. Now let's use the white balance option. and see how some audio features work, like hum and noise removal. Color grading. This, of course, is a great feature, although it is a bit small for the detailed things we need to do. The left and right buttons, we choose the options. The directional pad, Let's us change what we need in a detailed way. The speed section sure can speed things up. I know, it's a terrible joke. But hey, let's check it. See these three buttons here? They let us select the video only, audio only, or video and audio options for inserting or appending to the storyline. Very handy. One of the best functions, in our opinion, is the audio recorder. Check this out. So there you have it, a quick view of the new Final Cut Pro X control app, ProCut X. Hope you enjoyed it, and be sure to also read the article if you haven't already. It shows more in-depth info about the app. See you next time.